Okay. Hey, well, I'm Aisha Lisa, and welcome back to Don't Starve. In the last episode, we were chased by a merm well into the night, well, right as the night started, and then the merm finally gave up. And now, I'm going to, in this episode, look to establish a permanent base and set up a science machine. Let me look at the map. I have not found at all any place I like yet. Oh yeah, I need to get a straw hat because it's spring, which means it rains a lot in spring. And rain sucks because as it rains, our sanity will go down. You have like, I didn't explain this, but you have three little things. I just kind of assumed anyone watching this knows how this game is played already. But you have three little doohickeys. Your hunger, hence the name. It is very easy to start for death in this game. If you're not careful, your HP and your sanity. If your sanity gets too low, the game starts to get really weird. Things will attack you. The world becomes distorted looking, mostly in color. And yeah, that's basically it. And as it rains, we have a wetness meter. This wetness meter goes away when it stops raining. Have I explored this area? No, we found a savanna, that's nice. But as it goes up, uh, eventually I'll get slippery and items can sometimes fall out of my hands. Well, inventory. And other things will happen. So, I'm going to try to get a straw hat soon, but I... Do you need a science machine to make a straw hat? No, you do not. So, that's actually pretty useful for me right now. The straw hat won't completely stop the water buildup. You need an extra item for that, but it will help slow it down. Alright, there we go. I should get some extra grass, though, just because I would hate to have to make an immediate fire and not have anything for it. Okay, so what do I need for the science machine again? I'm going to need log... I mean, no, that's the alchemy engine. I'm going to need four logs, one gold, and four rocks. Hmm. I just kind of want to find... I don't know, I just don't really like this place very much. Like, I want to find a, war a spot that's just kind of nicer, I guess. I don't know, I'm really picky about where I live in this game. This is a pretty nice place though, are there any moose farms nearby? I don't even know if I'll ever live long enough. Maybe I'll live here. Oh yeah, yep, there's a beefalo. Beefalo are really helpful, kind of, in this game. Except for the fact that in spring they are constantly in heat. When beefalo are in heat, it's basically just like real life animals, they want to mate. Actually, it's kind of funny, but there actually is a real-life animal called a beefalo. I don't know if it's intentional. They don't really look like the beefalo in this game. The beefalo in this game look more like a cross between a woolly mammoth and a cow. A beefalo in real life is like just a really muscular-looking cow. Um, let's see, I think I kind of like this area I've wandered off into here. I'm gonna zoom out a bit. I think this will be my base of operation. Yeah, I like this little spot right here. Not this little corner area, but I like this place. This would make for a good base of operations. I'm used to playing this game in the multiplayer, so I don't really have to worry too much about the size. Because it's not, like, huge. Like, in the multiplayer, I basically have to make a base and think about how many people are going to try to crowd around it. And there's some good resources around here. This is a pretty good spot, I think. Oh yeah, moles. If you leave stuff sitting on the ground too long, eventually a mole will come eat it. I'm gonna plant this. Huh, you cannot plant... Oh wait, no you can. That was just weird. I'm just gonna plant that there, because I don't really need it. You can eat the birch nuts if you cook them. But I don't really need that. Oh, and I'm starting to freeze. I forgot that rain will make you freeze. Especially since it's the... Technically the game has started in the late part of spring. I mean... Uh, yeah, early spring, I mean. Build a fire pit right there. Oh, I can build my science machine. There we go. Now we can craft more with that. Science machine, in like comparison to Minecraft, is kind of like a crafting table, I guess. Except there's like upgrades for it. Essentially, once we get our alchemy machine, we won't need the science machine anymore. Wait, do I have enough rocks for that? Uh, well, how much rock do you need to make that cutstone? 
I'm gonna need a bit more rock. I think I saw a rock around here somewhere. Yeah. I'm gonna get that real quick. There we go. Splendid. Alright. So I should now have enough rocks for this thing. Also, I should make a backpack. Backpacks are really useful because your survival inventory is really limited. Uh, where is backpack? There it is. Um, I guess I'll just go get the stuff. See if I can in enough time. Since I made a permanent campfire now, it will not like burn out. Well, it will burn out, but when it burns out, I won't have to build a new one. It'll just be relightable, basically. Come on, baby. Oh yeah, I still have the torch in case of an emergency. All right. All right. I want a backpack. I might get a mod later on. I don't really want to mod this game that much while in the series, but there's a mod that gives you an extra equip slot because to wear armor in this game, you can't wear a backpack, and I just think that's kind of dumb. I don't know. It's kind of cheaty to have that, I guess, but I don't really care. It just annoys me. That's to carry around one extra thing. Oh, we probably won't even be getting into fighting for a while because I'm bad at it. I usually just try to avoid fighting. I'm used to playing as Wendy in the multiplayer, because in the multiplayer you don't have to unlock characters. And with Wendy, uh, she has a spooky ghost sister who will do the fighting for her, which is what I'm pretty used to, because I'm otherwise bad at the fighting in this game. Though Wendy has a damage penalty, which I'm pretty used to living with, so Wilson seems pretty powerful compared to Wendy. Alright, there's nothing really to talk about right now. I'm just going to make these cut stones for the alchemy machine. That's basically it. I think I need four. Yeah, I need four. And I want to make two electrical doodads. I like how that's what they're called, just electrical doodads. That's such a great name. Alright. And to make the alchemy engine now, all I need is to get 16 wood. Alright, that should be easy enough. I will do that tomorrow. And now I just have to wait. And wait. There's, there's nothing really to talk about at this point. There's not a whole lot, like... Eventually the night will be a bit more interesting, just because I can work on stuff around the base more later, but right now I can't. You're not that hungry. I don't really need to cook the carrots, because the carrots cooked or raw. Well, I guess I should have mentioned that, but I'll mention it probably in the next episode, since this episode's about to be over. Mole. 